Good morning, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Paddock. I have another Mark Brown story for you. This one is called Arthur's Family Vacation. Arthur's Family Vacation. Now I know we are not really going on many vacations right now, especially, for example, if you usually go uh, you know, into Ontario to go camping and things like that, or maybe you go down to the States usually, uh, you know, Grand Forks or Fargo for, for family vacations. Can't, can't really do that right now, right? Um, but we hopefully are able to still travel Manitoba and do some uh, vacationing within our own province, right? So this story is called Arthur's Family Vacation. Let's see what the Reed family gets up to. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of problems, right? It was Arthur's last day of school. Mr. Ratburn gave the class a surprise spelling test. All the other classes were having parties. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, said Mr. Ratburn. Ratburn. Report cards and school's out, everyone cheered. I can't wait for baseball practice to start, said Francine. I'm taking a college computer course, said the brain. I'll really miss you at Camp Meadow Crook, uh, Croak this year, Arthur, Buster said. I wish I didn't have to go on vacation with my family, said Arthur. There's going to be nothing to do and no one to do it with. Well, you'll have DW, said Buster, smiling, for a whole week. Oh, don't remind me, said Arthur. Arthur's family spent the night packing. I wish I could take my dollhouse to DW. I wish Buster would come with me, said Arthur. This is a family vacation, said Mother. All we need for fun is each other, said Father. Let's take my swing set, said DW. We could all use that. <laughs> I don't think so, eh? Well, we're all packed, Father said the next morning. Where's Arthur? He's on the phone with Buster, said Mother. Oh, for the hundredth time, DW said. Before we leave, said Father, does anyone need to go to the bathroom? This is your last chance, said Mother. Don't look at me, said DW. <laughs> look at Kate, eh? She's like checking her diaper out. She's like, nope, I'm good. On our way at last, Mother smiled. A whole week of no cooking and no dishes, said Father. A whole week without my best friend in the whole wide world, moaned Arthur. Once you're at the beach, you'll feel better, Father said. Are we there yet, said DW, because I have to go to the bathroom. Oh boy, oh boy. Eh? Arthur spent the rest of the trip thinking about how much fun Buster must be having at camp. So this was what he was imagining Buster was up to, right? Looks like fun. We're here, said Mother. Welcome to the ocean view, said the manager. Hey, where's the ocean, said Father. Uh, it's just across the highway behind that shopping center, the manager pointed. But there's a pool right here. Well, I guess I'll go swimming, said Arthur. Me too, said DW. Wait for me. Let's see our room first, said Mother. You mean we all have to stay in this puny little room, said DW? Don't worry, said Mother. We're only going to be sleeping in here. If you want to swim, said Arthur, you better hurry up and get your suit on. We have the whole pool to ourselves, said Arthur. It's a good thing too, said DW. Our bathtub is bigger than this thing. Look how small it is. Yeah, it's pretty small, isn't it? That night at dinner, everyone ordered lobster. Buster loves lobster, said uh, Arthur. This is lobster, said DW. Hmm, I want a hot dog. Can we go to the beach tomorrow, said Arthur. Good idea, said Father. I'm sure the rain will stop by then. If you look out the window, it's raining. Oh dear. Oh, the next day. No beach today, DW uh, announced. I had a dream about Buster, said Arthur. Well, why don't you write him a postcard, Mother suggested. Why don't we all write postcards, said Father. But what do we write about, said DW? We haven't even done anything yet. So here's the postcards. So this one is from Arthur. Dear Buster, I bet you're having fun at camp. I wish I were there. Your best friend, Arthur. And then um, DW wrote one to Grandma Thora. Dear Grandma Thora, you were smart to stay home. Love, DW. What do we do now, said DW? This vacation is a disaster. At camp, there's always something fun to do, thought Arthur, even on rainy days. That's it, he said. I'm taking us on a field trip. Oh. I never heard of a cow festival, DW said, but at least it's more fun than our motel room. Say cheese, said Father. Let's hurry or we're going to miss the milking contest, said Arthur. So even though it's raining, 
They're still having fun, aren't they? Yeah. For the next few days, it rained and rained and rained. But Arthur, he didn't mind. He was too busy planning new places to go. He forgot all about missing Buster. On Wednesday, they went to Gatorville. At least the alligators get to swim, said D.W. Thursday was busy too. After tur touring Flo's fudge factory, they all went on Jimmy's jungle cruise. I never realized there were so many fun things to do in the rain, said Father. I want to plan a field trip too, said D.W., to the movies. But when they got there, D.W. was too scared to watch. I thought it was a movie about fish, she whispered. The movie's actually about a big shark, and it's the movie's called Jaws. It's actually quite scary. Finally, on Friday, their last day, the sun came out. What a day, said Father. Just glorious, said Mother. And even D.W. was having fun. No one wanted to leave. But the next day, they had to pack up and they headed for home. We're almost there, said Mother. Phew, said D.W. I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh boy, said Arthur. I can't wait to see Buster. And as soon as they got home, the doorbell rang. And it was Buster. Camp was fun, but I missed you, he said to Arthur. How was your vacation? How did you and D.W. get along? Great, said Arthur. Take a look. And so he's showing him some pictures. Wow, said Buster. You really did have a great time. And of course, what was he doing to D.W.? Yeah, he was burying her in the sand, right? Awesome. So even though it wasn't exactly the family vacation they had planned, it still turned out to be a great time, right? And that's the, that's the important part, right? You can't just like sulk around and be like, mm, this sucks, right? You gotta really put a little bit of effort into it just like Arthur did and see in the end, it was a lot of fun and great memories. Hope you all have a great day, my friends. I love you and I miss you all. Take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.